Good afternoon, my name is Alan Koh. Today's wellness talk is on how energy medicine helps to support our body's healing processes against cancer. What a dreadful disease. Too much fatality, too big a statistics uh, were in Singapore and other parts of the world that every three people on planet Earth, one person will get cancer in our lifetime. So it's a three in one incidence, or rather one in three incidents. And cancer is a class of diseases in which a group of cells have gone haywire, they display uncontrolled growth, they display invasion or intrusion to surrounding areas, damaging them, and sometimes even a spread to other parts of the body from one location. What are the causes of cancer? Cancers are caused by abnormalities in the genetic material of the transformed cells, so the DNA is involved. Such abnormalities may be caused by carcinogens, which are substances that can cause cancer, particularly cigarette smoke, radiation, chemicals, germs, etc. Electric energy treatment is the most important now of all energy medical treatments for the natural part of supporting the body's healing processes. Within 30 minutes of electrotherapy treatment, all immune cells will be fully charged to a very healthy level of 70 to 90 millivolts, making their functionality much, much better to recognize germs, recognize cancer cells, and destroy them. So lots more oxygen and nutrients are absorbed into different cells, even the damaged areas, the cells need more oxygen and nutrients to go into self-repair, self-recovery. And now, uh, electric energy treatment serves that purpose. A sum total of all toxins in our body is acidic. Now, as you do electric energy treatment, we are also doing detox at the same time. And once these acidic toxins are cleared, the body turns into a natural alkaline. Nobel Prize was won by Dr. Otto Warburg that if your body can turn into a mild alkaline, it will retard cancer growth. Versus if our body is acidic, the um, cancer cells or the cancer lumps will love to grow on and on larger and larger. So electric energy treatment is important. Well, what about magnetic energy treatment? Well, improved blood circulation throughout all cancer area, supporting even more oxygen delivery to the area. And again, remember, the same Nobel Prize won by Dr. Otto Warburg was also researching into oxygen, whereby he found that the more oxygen goes to the cancerous area, the less possible for the cancer cells to grow. So the retardation of cancer growth is one important uh, aspect of uh, controlling cancer. Magnetic energy treatment further improves blood flow, more toxins are drained away, and therefore tissues damaged by cancerous intrusion will recover better, faster, and as total toxins are acidic, as I mentioned earlier on, the body will turn alkaline against um, growth of cancer cells. Well, because magnetic energy treatment is also a proven treatment for pain, any cancer patients in the late stages where pain developed, they could also find that this magnetic energy treatment could reduce the pain considerably. Pulsating magnetic fields strengthen each and every immune cell in our body. So not just electric energy treatment causes the immune system functioning to be better because of more oxygen and nutrient and detox, but the vibration, the bar resonance caused by the magnetic field to all these weak immune cells now further strengthen them and therefore synergistically they become very, very strong to recognize cancer cells and destroy them. And by the way, that's the normal function of our immune cells. We abuse them, we get into cancer. We nurture and strengthen them, nourish them, then they perform very well to keep on killing cancer cells rather than always chemotherapy, radiation therapy, killing cancer cells. Our own immune cells could do it if we do not abuse them. And on the other hand, which we, um, on the contrary rather, we actually um, nurture them. Now, strengthened immune cells can also kill germs, not just destroying cancer cells. And what are the Basic, uh, what are the uh, common cancers caused by infections? One is the uh, cervical cancer in ladies caused by the human papilloma virus. 
So if our body immune cells are strong at the start, even before cancer is being um, sort of uh, transformed by the uh, HPV virus, um, the virus would have been dead, so could not even cause the cancer in the first place. But of course, if the cancer is already caused, and now you strengthen immune cells for another type of uh, immune cells to kill the cancer cells, it still could work both ways. There's another um, cancer that's caused by infections quite easily, and that's brain cancer caused by um, a certain virus called Epstein-Barr virus. So kill the virus, strengthen our immune system, kill the virus, then such cancer would not even have happened in the first place. Liver cancer is very commonly caused by hepatitis virus, and the other uh, cancer is called stomach cancer, caused by the helical beta bacteria. So all these bacteria and viruses can easily be controlled by our immune system if we nurture them and nourish them well. And that's exactly what magnetic field treatment is all about. Far infrared is to reduce the inflammation. Remember I mentioned earlier on that an expanding cancer lump can actually intrude the surrounding healthy tissues and damage them and even inflame them. Now you've got the far infrared to reduce the inflammation and any pains caused by the inflammation. And because far infrared can remove more toxins from the area and finally drain away out of the body, the body will become more alkaline against cancer and any cancer damaged tissues in that area can be repaired faster and better by removing the toxins in that area. As we know, toxic burdens are always interfering or impeding repair processes. Thermoxibustion is a marriage of two treatments, thermos, which is heat, moxibustion, which is the stimulation of the meridian points, and by dilating the blood vessels through the heat treatment, more blood flow will go to that localized area uh, to retard cancer growth and also to repair damaged tissues. And whereas the moxibustion part is to stimulate the meridian points so that the chi flow to the cancer's area would be much better. If there's any blockages, it would be unblocked. If there's a, a good chi flow to the area to repair the disease, then the chi flow will be maintained uh, very well by doing moxibustion treatment. When you add all the four treatments together, again, there's no option but for such a medical condition to improve through the support of our body's healing processes. Thank you very much.